So, you've come here for some Wonder Kids under £10 million. You've come to the right place. Welcome to the Omega Luke Gaming Channel. Today we have 10 Wonder Kids that you can buy at the start of the game for less than £10 million, saving yourself some pennies rather than going for the more expensive options. Uh, before we get into this list though, we will be doing plenty more lists throughout the week, including less than 5 million, less than 2 million, and approach to sign Wonder Kids. So make sure you are subscribed to the Omega Loot Gaming channel so you don't miss any of those lists. We also have tactic videos on the horizon. We're working on some tactics behind the scenes uh, in the Discord. So Join the Discord as well because that's where you'll be able to download these tactics, but that will be available later on throughout the week. There'll be a video on the channel for that, don't you worry about it. Okay, let's start off with player number one. Player number one, we have Kyle George. Now, this guy was quite popular in last year's Football Manager. He is 18 years of age now, and he is still just as good as what he was before. We'll take a look at him five years in the future as well. We're going to be doing that for every single player. But just to show you exactly how cheap you can possibly get him for, uh, I offered, there we go, less than £10 million, and you can pick up this striker. So here is Kyle George in five years' time, finding himself playing in Portugal like many Brazilians do. And he has some incredible attributes, a lot of 15s, a lot of 16s, a very well-rounded striker. He's even picked up a few Brazilian caps. And he's scoring some goals as well, viewers. Uh, Porto point for £12 million. And he's even had a season where he scored 25 goals in 29 appearances. That's not bad for this man. The second player on this list, we stay in Brazil, and for a very good reason, you'll find Savio there. He is at the club ATM, and eventually we will do the name fix, which you can do by yourself as well, by the way. Uh, but here is the 16-year-old Savio, and he looks very impressive already, to say the least. That determination and flair, decent physicals for just a 16-year-old. He's valued at 64k. But we all know you're going to have to pay a little bit more than that. £16 million they want, which is not bad considering he has that as a minimum fee release clause. If you offer £7.5, £8.5 million for this man. Still less than £10 million, and I think it's still very good because we're going to take a look at him. Now, Savio has never left Brazil, but he has grown quite well. 21 years of age now, still playing for ATM, and as you can see... His physicals, his technicals, his mentals, a lot of 15s, a lot of 16s, and he still has some time to grow. There are some gaps that you'd like to fill, get his finishing up a little bit higher. Um, he's 5'9", and he has decent strength considering. Bravery and concentration, though, are slightly low. But the rest of him, viewers, he's left-footed, but the media describe him as a winger. Obviously, I'm guessing that's more of an inside winger we can't see because we haven't scouted him. But he does definitely suit the role very nicely, and you can play him on the left-hand side as well. How has he done? Has he been successful? He's only just broke into the first team. So if you start, if you actually bought this guy from the beginning and when he eventually joins you at 18 years of age and you give him some game time, you could be looking at an exceptionally good player because he's been neglected on this save game file and he's still grown. So what does that tell you? It tells me that he could be great. Off to Spain now and we have Unai Vencedor. Now I haven't ever, ever heard of this guy before but First, first look, he doesn't look too bad, to be honest. He's 19 years of age. He's a little bit older than what I'd like him to be at this point in his career. But he does have a lot of potential to grow into a great player, which you will see in a sec. Good determination. Mental attributes are probably the best that we can see here. Physical attributes aren't far behind. It's just these technicals that really need to catch up. Good marking and passing and first touch. The rest of it... For a 19-year-old, you want slightly better. But if you give him some game time and give him all of what he needs, good training facilities, he will grow. And he does have a £6.25 million release clause at the start of the game. So although he is at Bilbao, you can activate that immediately and he might want to come to your club. Let's take a look at him, though, five years on. This man never leaves Atletico Bilbao, but he does turn into a very good centre midfielder. A good defensive midfielder, and he can play in the role in front, and even at centre-back if you really needed him to. Great physical attributes, mental attributes can still improve, I think. Positioning's good, work rate. Yeah, actually, they're not as bad as what it first seems. Uh, but a good first touch, good passing, and 13s and 14s for marking and tackling technique. 
not to be sniffed at whatsoever. His history, he's just broke into the first team a few years ago. So for three seasons now, he's playing in La Liga, his first full season, 35 games. And he's done quite well, viewers. Four goals, four assists, two man of the matches, a decent average rating. I rate this guy quite highly for the, for the price of, what was it, like £6.5 million release clause. Very good indeed. The fourth player on this list has already featured on the channel in the top 10 Wonder Kids in five years' time. So we know how great he can be already. And it is the guy, Gabriel Menino, uh, in Brazil yet again. 19 years of age, and he already starts off an incredible uh, player. And he looks more like a fullback here. We did argue the toss whether he would be better in centre midfield or at the right back role. I still really prefer him in that right back role. He's kind of like a Philip Lamb. He's good at all the good stuff, the passing and everything like that as well, which can lead to be a great midfielder. But I like him in that right back role. He's got some good attributes to go forward. Uh, if we do make an offer though, you will find yet again that you can spend less than £10 million and you will pick up this exceptionally good player, 9.5 million. You can still knock him down a little bit more. I understand guys, I'm leaving percentage of profit of next sale. Uh, that's down to you to negotiate yourself, obviously. A lot of people like to take it off. A lot of people like to utilize that if they never have any intentions of selling them. But of course, if you use these, then it will eventually lower the cost down. If you wanted to get rid of it though, here we go. You literally just click here, percentage of profit. You remove and exclude and it will do both for you. They still want £14 million there. Can we knock them down? You can still get them for less than £10 million without any of the additional clauses. So you won't be paying any more future money for him. They won't be coming back and stealing any transfer money that you get for him in the future. Say you sell that player for £50 million, but you said to them that you're going to give them 50% of the next profit. You're giving them £25 million million pound away so be wary of that in the future guys here is Gabriel Menino in the future and do I need to say any more a world-class midfielder a world-class right back in my opinion I know I keep saying it I just prefer him there I think uh, the the crossing attributes dribble attributes just suit more of a, as a right midfield as a right back uh, going forward but I digress. Gabriel Menino is absolutely exceptional, and you can see that. A lot of 15s, very well-rounded player, and if we look at his history, he's been playing in the Premier League now for a few seasons. Manchester City bought him after a couple of years. A lot of good, a good average rating. I mean, it's not fantastic. Some go One goal every season, so he's at least he's consistent, because he's also got two assists every season for four years in a row. So, I mean, he, he's lack, lacking on the player of the matches. Maybe, uh, but I think, other than that, he is great. He's a fantastic centre midfielder. He's an even better right back. Gabriel Menino, for the price, you cannot argue, less than £10 million. You can make a lot of profit. £63 million he's now worth, and he's wanted by a number of clubs, probably. Wanted by Tottenham, of all teams. The fifth man on this list is a goalkeeper, and I wanted to put a different variety of positions on on this list and it is quite difficult to find good ones for under 10 million but we have Manuel Gasparini now he was decent last year he is still very good 18 years of age uh, you can offer them a little bit of money 15 million pound take it down minus 10 can we yes 8.75 million pound for this goalkeeper uh, he does grow into a good goalkeeper he has great potential um, and well he's six foot three at the age of 18 at the start of the game you might struggle getting him away from Udinese depending on what club you are but if you're one of the biggest sides in Europe I'm pretty sure he's going to want to come to you so as a backup for your first team He's not bad, to be honest, for the first couple of years. Grow him into that first team goalkeeper like this. And here is Manuel Gasparini, the goalkeeper, the Italian goalkeeper. Still finding himself in Udinese in Italy. Good one-on-ones, good reflexes. He's very well-rounded goalkeeper, six foot three, so he's very tall. That's good as well. Uh, let's have a look at his history. He's been playing for the last few seasons there. He's conceded a lot of goals, but actually the first season... He had 17 clean sheets. Oh, it's Serie B. That's probably why. So that's probably the reason why he was given the opportunity. And he's taken his opportunity and he is still uh, their first team goalkeeper. But of course, Udinese, they're not the best side in Italy. There's a lot of good teams in Italy. So he is going to struggle. If you picked him up for your team, I think he could be a lot better than this. Especially if he has played earlier on in his career. Because at 23 years of age, he's only just broke into the first team. He could get a lot better than what we see here. Still a long time to grow as well for Manuel. I like him as a goalkeeper on this game. For £10 million, or less than £10 million, it's hard to argue that is good value for money.
Before we look at the next five, just a reminder that I do have a Patreon page for anyone who wishes to support me as a content creator going forward financially. Just a few bucks a month will be absolutely fantastic. You get early access to videos, you get to sponsor players on the Stream Save, the Youth to Go series that we will be coming up, as well as some more. Uh, offers and rewards that we will be having going forward. Maybe some giveaways. I'm thinking of something like that. If you can think of anything that you would like as a reward on Patreon, let me know down in the comments. And if you didn't know, I also am a pro wrestler. I've had a couple of matches now for my local company, Reach Wrestling, which you can watch for free down in the description. So if you want to see me wrestle or you're into wrestling, uh, the link to Reach Wrestling's YouTube channel is down there. Have a look. I'm on episode number five. Enjoy it. It shouldn't be a shock to you, but we do return yet again to Brazil with Lucas Lorenko. Now, this guy from Santos, 19 years of age, can play in midfield as a cam role or as a sense midfielder. And he already has some very good attributes to complement that. 15 passing, good vision, good determination. Decent physicals, not amazing, but still decent. He's rather small, though, 5.5, so he's going to be a bit more of a nippy player, maybe a bit more attacking. That cam roll definitely suits him. You can still pick him up for less than £10 million, as we can see here. Just under the £10 million mark, 8.75. You can probably negotiate a little bit more as well, uh, but with the profit of next sale, if that's taken off, maybe £10 million will be where you will sit at that. But Lucas Serenko, I think for the money that you can get, is exceptionally good because when he looks like this, he is great. Lucas Lorenko was also a player who never left Brazil. But if he did leave Brazil, I still think he would be very good in the European leagues. 17 passing, 18 vision. He's very good, very tricky in that cam roll. Good dribbling and fast touch. Composure is very nice. Physical attributes are good too, and he has some decent player traits that tries killer balls often in that cam roll. Could be deadly with the passing and vision that he has. Good off the ball as well. Uh, as he has played in Santos for a long time now, look at that. 22 assists one season, 20 in the other. Yes, they play a lot in uh, Brazil, 54 games one season. But to get 20 assists and 22 assists, a 7.28 average rating, very good season for Lucas Lorenko, and he's just sitting there waiting for a big European club to come pick him up. He's been neglected, viewers. I don't like it. Bless him. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. We have some more Brazilians on the list, and this isn't the last one. Uh, there's two more Brazilians on the list, but for good reason. They are probably the best place to find Wonder Kids on this game, and Wonder Kids for a decent value of money. Marcus Leonardo is the next guy on that list. As a striker or a left midfielder, he can play both. And we have seen that he has decent attributes for that role. 17 years of age, so he still has a long time to grow. And of course, in Brazil, you can't sign them until they are 18. You can put the offer in, but they won't join you until they are 18. Again, at Santos. So if you had the money, you could really raid uh, Santos and take all of their best players, which is obviously quite entertaining to do in the future when you have unbelievably Brazilian, uh, unbelievably good Brazilian wonder kids. But again, £8.5 million you can pick this guy up for, maybe negotiate a little bit more, and he will grow into an exceptionally good player like this. Marcus Leonardo is incredible on this game. Physicals, 15s and 16s across the board other than jumping reach. He finds himself at Barcelona as well. Finishing at 16, his technicals are the worst that we've seen out of that he that well the worst that we that he has. Mental attributes are incredible as well. Decent player traits. He can play like we mentioned in two different positions. That's quite appealing. He's only just signed for Barcelona as well, and he hasn't necessarily played a lot of games for Santos. 27 goals though in 51 games in the season where they did play him, and he was already. Knocking on the door for 11 goals in 21 games. So a goal nearly every game, nearly every other game, is a very good uh, return for a striker. Finding it difficult in Barcelona in the league anyway. Just two go two appearances so far, no goals. He's picked up a goal in the Continental competition though. But I like the look of Marcus Leonardo in the future. 22 years of age, still a long time to grow as well. Very good player. Now, I told you we were going to have another Brazilian player. I'm not going to lie to you, viewers. We have another one. This is the final one, though, I think. We'll, we'll see. Uh, Sandri, 17 years of age. Again, he's from Santos. Although this player probably does have 
the best looking attributes that we have seen so far as a center defensive midfielder he has great marking passing and tackling at 13 decent first touch and also 12 finishing so it's not too bad determination of 20 of course that will vary dependent on the player that you get that's all down to potential uh, value and that is basically a long and short of it how all of these players will line up. I might have the best Sandry that there is possibly available to me. You might have the worst. It's all down to potential range. And I'm going to be doing a video on potential and potential range in the future. So make sure you subscribe so you do not miss that. Because it, it kind of can be complicated. But once you kind of get your head around it, it makes a lot of sense. And it's been very confusing for me in the past. When someone has gone, make sure you check this player out. He is absolutely outstanding. And I click on mine and he is dreadful. So it will make sense in the future viewers but 20 determination suggests that we have a very good version of Sandri on this game and this is what he looks like when he reaches his potential. I forgot to mention as well that you can pick him up for a very reasonable price. Yet again, £7.5 million in that ball pipe between 5 and 10 is where we are looking at here because there are loads for under £5 million. That's another video for another time. Sandri, £7.5 million. Sandri might just be better than Marcus Leonardo. Uh, he finds himself in Serie A as well at Real Madrid. And the defensive midfielder looks like a rock in there. First touch of 15, passing technique, all very good. Determination of 19, flair 16 as well. So he's good with the ball. Looks tricky. He's driven, personality. Hard to argue against this. and He's barely even played. He's been neglected, viewers, and my heart goes out to him. I hate seeing that. He's had one great season in Santos. Then he was snapped up because of that good season after getting four goals and five assists from a CDM role. And he's never been played, and that's really disappointing. If you are playing him, I'm sure you can get a lot better output than what Real Madrid are out of him because he is great he is wanted by a club as well Tottenham again trying to find these players in this safe ah oh, it's such a shame because he looks incredible the penultimate player on this list number nine Mohamed Tabouni and I'm actually really excited about this because AZ Alkmaar are quite a force in Football Manager they have some great wonder kids and players the likes of Boadu the likes of Calvin Stengs and they have this guy and you can pick him up for a really reasonable price. He's 18 years of age and he already looks very good, doesn't he? He has some great fundamental attributes for a winger or a central center attacking midfielder. And at just 18, he has a long time to grow. And if you do make an offer for him, 9.5 million straight off the bat, you can knock that down. I mean, we could even be cheeky. Well, they actually accept five, so it's absolutely unbelievable that you can pick this guy up for five million pounds. And this is how good he is when you do pick him up in the future. Well, Tabuni finds himself in the Premier League in that cam role. He is playing for West Ham. Dribbling, very good. Determination and flair, very good. Physical attributes, not too bad whatsoever. Passing and vision, 15 and 16. So he has developed quite nicely. If you think about for £5 million, he's now worth 21. How much did West Ham pay? They paid £13 million. He's broke into the AZ first team the last two seasons there. And he is now starting uh, for West Ham every single game almost. Two goals, six assists in the Premier League, 6.83 average rating. That's not bad, to be honest. I'd be quite happy with that uh, for a West Ham player. I like him. Tries killer balls often. Obviously, that's going to be a trait that you really want to look at for this player in that cam role. Good passing, good vision. He wants to play those killer balls often and find the wingers cutting in or find that striker peeling away from the defender. Uh, and there we go. Five million pound. Definitely a good bargain there. The final player on this list is another player that has featured already on this year's Football Manager videos that we have done for Wonder Kids, Pierre Duomo. Now, a lot of people have mentioned Duomo in the comments of the last video because of how good he looked and that they've never heard of him from Genk. And my word, he does turn out to be a beast. But you can pick him up for £5 million at the start of the game. That's outstanding when you see how his potential can line up. Just 16 years of age, he finds himself on the right midfield or in that cam role, which I kind of prefer him in the cam role, I think, uh, if you manage to build up his finishing in the future. Six foot one as well for a 16-year-old. Uh, hopefully that grows even better. Uh, and we will see what he looks like in five years' time because he is an animal, viewers. Let's take a look. For £5 million, you could be looking at this player. 
in the future, and he blows every player that we've had so far out of the water, I think, and he's still just 20 years of age. £5 million for this at 20 years of age. How great is he? Dribbling and first touch of 17, passing technique. He has great vision, good flair, so he's great on the ball as well. He's tricky. He tries killer balls often. He plays centrally, but you can put him on the right or up top if you so wish to do. Six foot one as well, so he's no small player. They paid £28 million for him. And that's like four, four seasons in the future as well they paid that much money. Uh, he has played a little bit for Genk, not every single game. Kind of looks like he's been a bit part, and especially that last season, maybe he had an injury or something. 17 games only played there. Three goals, two assists. Looked like he was going to get his best tally for the season before he was obviously denied due to an injury or something. I'm not quite sure. But for 20 years of age, he's only worth 18 million. If you think about it, in a couple of years' time, you'll probably be one of the best players in the world. And his value could be knocking on 50, 60, 70 million pound. And for 5 million pound buying him right from the off, you're going to make yourself a lot of money, viewers. Speaking of a lot of money, if you want to make a lot of money and sign a lot of youngsters whilst bringing success, have a look at my Youth to Gold video that I did earlier on in the week. If you want a method of playing football manager, it's a really good method, let me tell you. So there we have it then, viewers. That is 10 Wonder Kids for less than £10 million. And I think you'll all agree they've, if well, with the right development, they can turn out to be absolutely exceptional players. You'll make your money back at least if you lose them due to a bigger club or I don't know, or they'll bring you success. One of those two options is always great. But thank you very much for watching the video. If you can, smash that like button. That will help for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment down below if you're going to buy any of one of these players. And viewers, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Remember the Discord links down in the description too, as well as uh, Reach Wrestling's YouTube channel and my Patreon. Also, follow me on Twitter. I do not have enough people following me on Twitter who are Football Manager fans. It'd be nice to chat to you all on there as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later on with another video, less than £5 million next one. So have a look for that one. It will be out very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, remember to smash that like button. Hit the Patreon page if you want some early access to some videos or to sponsor a player. And here is a video that I think you might like.